Good afternoon. He's just dedicated his whole life pretty well to radio. What a marvelous day out there, huh? This first day of spring. Hi and welcome to the show. I'm Rakao with you until 7 o'clock this evening, 3.07. I've known Rakao since, uh, well, actually around 35 years, the, the spring of 77. Rakao, host of, uh, of talk radio on uh, the Rogers Radio Network in the Maritimes, but a friend of mine, a colleague of mine, really my entire professional life. An excellent journalist and broadcaster, and he's lived long enough to... Uh, survive a lot of things that have changed in this business. I'm told that the, that by my management that they're looking at alternatives for this show and I have faith in them. Well, like CJCH is flipping long, to FM to and how is so not funny. included. This will be the final hour uh, of the hotline. The fantastic Rick Howe, or as I call him, the Rick Star. He's one of the most intelligent, real people you will ever meet. First met Rick Howe in the basement of uh, Broadcast House, which was the home of CFBC Radio in St. John, New Brunswick in the spring of 1977. He'd just come down from Campbellton to be a reporter, and I had just come out of high school, in fact I was still in high school, to read uh, the evening news. I knew nothing about radio, and basically what I learned, I learned from guys like Rick. We first crossed paths back in uh, 1982 at CJCH. <laughs> Uh, boy, how would I describe Raquel? Um, a hippie with a long sh shelf life, I guess. That's the best way I could describe Rick. Physically, anyway. Uh, muckraking, uh, talk show hosting, fearless reporting. Good left winger. Just unrelentingly fair to people. Likes to provoke people, likes to provoke fights and disagreements, but at the end of the day wants to tell the story fairly. Uh, Fair guy. Uh, he's very persistent and extraordinarily good natured. He was a good boss, great friend, um, and a very good broadcaster. And he has the rare gift to sort of be at you critically on the air, but still be a good natured uh, fellow about it at the end of the piece. And that's why he's survived. No, that's why he's thrived. I'd like to just have a, a you know good long in uh, conversation with you, Mayor, at some point before you before you call it a day. Look forward to that. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. Appreciate okay, take care. it. All right, sir. Bye-bye. Okay. Uh, mayor Peter Kelly. Don't think he was really looking forward to that at all. Well, you'll notice he fights with the mayor, but the mayor still goes on. And it's because at the end of it, the mayor feels that he gets a fair hearing. You know, you know where he's coming from most times. Uh, and, yeah, he's, he's, he's the real thing. The Rick Howe uniform begins with the ball cap. The baseball caps. The hat. There's always the hat. I used to wear a navy hat. This had navy. Okay, well, blue jeans, that's a given. A pair of uh, heritage blue jeans with a well-used handkerchief in one pocket. A shirt. The lumberjack shirt, although I, I, I see he's moved away from exclusive lumberjacking now into some more, uh, shall we say, stylish shirts. The Hawaiian shirts. Kind of like a uh, Tom Selleck type shirt most times but they really look old and washed out. The beautifully manicured facial hair. And the, the long, scraggly gray hair. The hair down to the shoulders. Which I'm pretty sure he had when he was born. The large aviator-style sunglasses. Yep, he's uh, worn sunglasses inside and out um, for all his life. Usually sneakers. And I've never, ever seen him even if the weather got to 35 degrees, I've never seen him in a pair of shorts or anything like that. He, uh, I don't even know if he has real legs. <laughs> yeah, no, Rick. Rick does deserve this. It's uh, it's uh, it's appropriate, and uh, he's done a good job all through the years. I'm just delighted that our colleagues and peers recognize all of those great traits that have made Rick Howe enjoy the lifetime of success that he's had. Your wisdom, your humor, your humility. 
You're a wonderful, wonderful man, and you've been a great mentor to me. I've learned so much from you. I think it were it not for Rick Howe, I might not be in broadcasting. I certainly wouldn't be in Halifax. We started out around the same time, and uh, was a great. Uh, he's been a great mentor and friend for all those many years. Congratulations. I remain one of your biggest fans, and I love you. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Same bad time, same bad channel. For Jennifer Casey, I'm Raquel. Have a great night. And remember, if you're not outraged, you're not paying attention. Because I'll come in there and I'll kick your butt during a newscast so people know I'm kicking your butt. And stop building, we will, I'm saying. I'm